हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज मनीष पांडे दिस इज सेशन थ्री ऑफ एक्सेल एज अ डेटा बेज ऑटोमेशन सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो यू लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट एक्सेल एज अ डेटा बेज विथ यू आई पाथ वी हैव दिस एक्सेल फाइल विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस एक्सेल एज अ डेटा बेज वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ ओ डी बी सी इन यू आई पाथ वी हैव दिस एक्सेल फाइल वी आर वी हैव फोर कॉलम्स एंड वी हैव अराउंड फिफ्टी रिकॉर्ड्स हीयर ओपन दिस यू आई पाथ स्टूडियो and in the session 2 video we have installed uipath dot database dot activities package here we will be getting all the database activities you can search from here if i writing here database we are getting all this activities here so the name is slightly different from the previous one i am going to show you how to connect to excel as a database so we'll take this connect to a database this activity click on configure now click on connection wizard now from the data source we need to take odbc microsoft odbd data source so as we have already installed microsoft database engine 2010 so we we'll level to now access that now here we have to select use connection stream click on build now click on machine data source and then click on new here we are getting a warning so no problem just click okay now by default this is selected and this is a uh, disabled use data source apply to this machine now click on next now here you need to search where the driver we have dot xls and dot xlsx so if you search here so you can see here we have microsoft excel driver star dot xls star dot xlsx and xlsm and xlsb so we'll able to use xls file also and xls file also it means the the older version of excel and the newer version of excel we will able to use now by installing that microsoft excel database engine now click this click next and now click finish now here we need to give that name of this data source so we can say this we are going to use as a excel files so we'll write here excel files if you want to write a description you can put here now click on option and uncheck this because we are not only going to read the file from there we are also going to write we are going to uh, send a update query also to that excel file so uncheck this read only and then click okay now this data source has been created now now click okay and then here it will ask you to select the database name so database name will will be your excel file because now we are going to use our excel as a database so select that so by default this is coming here but you can uh, select from here you can choose where is that excel file available and then you can select that and click okay now once you click okay this is your complete connection string now just to test that connection that this has been established successfully or not you can click on test connection and now you can see here we have a text in the green color test connection succeeded now click okay select here odbc system dot data dot odbc provider now click okay so as we have already received that text message in the green color it means that is successfully connected this is the connection string we have let me show you where it says that dsn equal to excel file so dsn is your data source that we created and dbq equal to so what is the database location what is the database file name so this is your complete database file name and this can be any file name so this is the complete path of that excel file and this is a default directory which will say again the same directory where that excel file is located so this is available under c drive with under my uh, user folder and then documents then ui path and then this this folder name and this is the driver id 1046 this is uh, excel version 12.0 and uh, this is something maximum buffer size and page time out 5 so this is your complete connection string you can either directly pass here itself or you can take a a sign activity you can store in a connection uh, in a, a string str why i am doing that because you will have a different different 
file name also based on your excel if you are going to work on a different excel you will have a different uh, excel name so i'm going to put that inside here now this is my connection string i can directly use here now instead of uh, putting everything here i can use that a string str connection string now this will be directly applied to here right now if you want to change this excel files if you want to change this one so what you can do you can take you know that you you will be getting this from either your um, variable or from uh, any other let's say a, a config file so you can take it from there so you will have a, a variable so you just need to replace that right and then you can use here if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you